here in Bangkok, everything just takes on uh, a, a crazier vibe just because we're here. But then actually, the, just the actual scale of the stunts and the scale of the, um, this, the scale of the production is so much bigger. It's exciting. And all of it is really, at the end of the day, to service these just incredibly silly jokes. It's hard to describe the bond that I kind of share with Bradley and Zach because the first movie was um, kind of just another movie until it came out and then it became this crazy juggernaut and it, it that carries with it a lot of excitement and baggage and, and new experiences. And we were all in this sort of same place at the same time and at the same sort of roughly the same tier in our careers. And so uh, to experience that together uh, and to have each other to sort of rely on and uh, commiserate with during that um, sort of showbiz hazing process <laughs> uh, was really kind of special and cool. Zach has a special wit because it's so fast. Like you can't believe how quickly he just keeps zinging. And uh, if you ever get in a kind of exchange with him, which we do improvising, uh, it, 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 it always ends with, one, with like me laughing too hard to keep going. Because I can't, I just can't keep up. No one can keep up with Zach. It's crazy. Todd is uniquely suited for directing comedy because he has real leadership. He's, he directs with a lot of conviction, which a, any movie really needs to sort of stay on track and stay focused. And he's got a specific comedic voice in mind at all times, and everything kind of serves that. Um, but with that conviction he also has an open mind and and a real desire to make it the best it can be and he's not too proud to take suggestions from anybody we worked with mike on the first hangover but i, I can't say I, I got to know him really we sh you know shot a few days with him and um and i think he was a little sort of testing the waters and he didn't know us and uh we managed to get uh, great stuff and have a great time with him, but uh, it just sort of was this weird fluke in a way. Now that w he knows us and we know him and there's a trust and there's a comfort level, and he came back into the second one and just uh, blew it up and, and was so game to do anything. Paul Giamatti, one of my favorite actors of all time. We got to shoot with him today, as a matter of fact. The guy is its so distractingly good. It's impossible to do a scene well with Paul Giamatti because you're just kind of caught up in what he's doing. And I was almost just, I, I, I kind of broke character a couple of times just enjoying his performance, and I had to sort of be like, okay, no, 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 remember you're in a scene.